How's everybody doing? can do to help um, doing those healings every day to try to bring the stress and anxiety down boost your immune system um, that's what we're working on so um, for those that don't know me I'm Tracy Gorick I am a healing coach I do energy healing spiritual mentoring and mindset work that all combine together help you heal and clear out anything that's holding you back and find out what's going on on an energetic level as to why you're having the pain and illness. And that's that's my job. So um, yesterday at the end of the live, it came in and I had said it, so I wanted to do it. Hi, Lisa, how are you? <clears throat> so I wanted to go into more detail. I wrote it down immediately on the chalkboard uh, yesterday at the end of it. So you have to put in the work to change. And I added to that and heal um, your body, right? You have to do the work. It's not just something that you can just sit there and be like, oh, I'm healed. There's a reason you got to the point that you're at you where you have the pain and illness. Um, and you have to work at it to help heal and clear that out, okay? Um, more and more, it's gonna, that's what's going to come out. And that's why energy healing is so important uh, to that. Because energy healer like myself you we go in energetically and see what's going on not on the physical realm of it even though sometimes it's physical we still look energetically as to what's going on and your body is such a magnificent thing that it tells you when you need to pay attention to something and what you're doing in your life and that's what your body when you have the pain and illness your body's telling you that and it's becoming more and more apparent with uh, me and my husband we do this thing every morning where we and sometimes we walk together and sometimes we walk separate it just depends uh, where what we're doing in, in the morning at that time um, but we'll have pain in our you know as we're walking and so we'll send the healing to it and it clears up and we keep walking and then our mind starts watering wandering into something where we shouldn't go and and then we bring ourselves back because the pain starts to show up in our specifically me my knee uh, today it was in my gallbladder, which I need to look that up and see what that is. Um, so though that being said, that's our body's trying to tell us what's going on and, and to pay attention to what we're doing. Um, we need to keep our vibrations high and it's going to be more and more stronger that way where we um, need to pay attention to that because that's, that's how we understand there's something we need to look at in our life and change so we get back on track to where we are supposed to go, okay? So um, that's, the, that's it. You, so you need to put in the work. You, you need to put in the work. You know, my example is I, um, I, I'm going to say anger. It's not like extreme anger. It's like I have to be pushed really far before I get angry. And that's one thing where it will show up in my liver. I'll start having uh, issues in my liver and pain, not really like issues. And it's because that's where I go. I get angry. And I realized it today, like what it is. It's like I want to help so badly. But there's times that I have to take care of myself. And so I have to say no. And then I get frustrated that people don't understand that. And then I get angry. I go immediately to anger. But it's in me so much to want to help. But uh, when I can't, then I get angry. And, and then I feel guilty. It's just this whole vicious cycle that I've been working through. I'm getting better. But the point is we all have work to do. And so that's what our body's telling us. It's showing us the work we need to do. So you need to pay attention. And, and you just can't sit back and expect all the... Um, the answers and, and then and be upset if you don't get the correct answer from others and you also like I said you need to start looking at what's going on nobody's perfect we're here and we've got stuff we've got to work on that's the whole point in being here is to work on ourselves and so again that's our bodies trying to help us learn to pay attention to what's going on and where our minds going and if we're getting angry and upset that's not our natural state. We need to be more in a neutral, natural state, not getting really angry and upset at others because 
I've said this before too, we gotta let others be where they're at. Even though you might be 100% correct, you've gotta let others be where they're at. You can kindly say things or just put it out there, not directly at somebody, but, but when they're ready, then they'll get the information that they need from you, right? So that's what I had for today. You have to put in the work to change and heal. You have to, have to, have to. It's not I'll sit back and, oh, be the um, martyr on it. You have to do the work. And yeah, there's things that are done to people that, yeah, it sucks. And, and it was awful. And that other person was, you know, not correct in what they did to you. But you have to look at it. There's a lesson there. And you're supposed to learn something from it. And you're supposed to take the initiative and heal and work at it and work at healing your body, mind, and soul. That's Our bodies are here to help us with that and show us what we need to do. So, all right, that's it for that today. Let's go ahead and do the healing. Um, if you want it, it, great, it'll come to you. If you don't, don't worry, it won't, you won't be forced on you. It'll only come if you want it. So, um, just sit back, you guys, and we'll go ahead and begin the healing. Just relax, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, release everything that's no longer serving you. Now I want you to imagine the violet flame at your feet coming up and around and through your body. It's cleansing, clearing, purifying everything you no longer need. Any negative thoughts that come up, just put them in that violet flame. Any negativity you've had from other people come at you, anything they've said, Put that in the violet flame. That's not yours to hold on to. And any negativity you felt from the consciousness that you've picked up on, which we're all doing at the moment, so it's a constant thing we need to just keep clearing out. Put that in the violet flame. And when you feel it's done, go ahead Send it back up to source to transmute it. Now, if you have an intention where you want the energy to go to work on a certain part, just put that intention out there. Energy will go where it's needed, but it will be extra you know, strong in that area that you need help or that you put the intention for. But just know the energy goes where it's needed. Okay, go ahead and come back. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. That's what it we have for today on the healing. Uh, remember, you can always come back to this anytime you want. If you're having a rough time today, any of the Chalk Talks Open Healing uh, have the healing in them. So you can go catch anyone you want. And it's, you know, towards the end of them. Um, so go back and watch anyone you want and that'll help you. Uh, this is to help clear out anything that's holding you back and adding to your stress and anxiety because it's it's getting tough we're coming on uh, a lot of us a, a month to five weeks right now that have been in you know kind of home can't get out um so just keep your vibration high I, it's work but you gotta keep working at it and you gotta keep working at the healing if you need help let me know uh, let's have a chat uh, but it does take work to heal all right, so here we go. This is what you guys need to do, and it's becoming more and more apparent, and I did it this morning. Um, write what you want to see or be and have when we get through this, what comes out on the other side, because <clears throat> we're going to be walking into a different energy, 
and um, you want to have this positivity in what you're seeing in your vision because that's what you can walk into when we come out of this, right? So I want you to write what you envision that most perfect day to be for you. And I want you to write it and envision it and feel it. Remember, keep it positive and toward to you. Not putting negativity in what you want something else to happen to somebody else, something bad. You need to keep it positive and to you. You don't want that energy out there. I don't care how correct you are or what you feel. You do not want to have anger or animosity towards other people. You need to keep it positive. And this is how you should be living your day, your life every day. Keep it the positive, right? Okay, so write that down. Envision it, see it, feel it, sense it. Do everything with that because that's what's going to help this earth evolve and change into what we need and want. So then go do something you, that brings you joy, that you love. Um, go sing, dance, whatever that is. Do it. Do at least one thing of it. Then do some self-care. Uh, meditate. Do Have some tea, an Epsom salt bath, detox bath, whatever that is self-care for you. Even if that's writing, journaling, um, even watching a movie, whatever the self-care is, they can overlap the self-care and the joy. Uh, but you want to do at least one of each, okay? If not more. And then I want you to do something kind for somebody else. Say something nice about something else, about somebody else, something you see in them, right? Lift them up and yourself at the same time. And then write 10 things you're grateful for. You guys start doing this stuff. It's going to change your life and you're going to start with seeing that's good in your life and you'll be able to see more clearly where you're going and what's going on with your body and the illness and what you need to do to to help it heal and if you're really having trouble let me know let's let's work together okay um, that's what I've got for today I love you all uh, if you know anybody that needs this to help this reduce the stress and anxiety and help boost the immune system that's what all this is doing then please share this okay um, we want to get to as many people as we can. I'm going to keep doing this right now, um, every day, except for Sundays, every day to help everybody reduce the stress and anxiety. In turn, we all help the world reduce the stress and anxiety. So you guys have a great day. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow.